Assalamu alaikum. I am Abdul Adamu. In this uh, lecture, we are going to do decimal numbers. Uh, decimal numbers normally are digits to the right of a decimal point, indicating they are part of a whole number, part of a whole that are less than one. If we look at these numbers, 17.591, this is a decimal point. The number 7 is unit or ones. The number 1 is tens. Now, this, the number to the left of this number, of this whole, are greater than 1. The numbers 5, 9, one are part of this number that are less than one so this part of this number that are less than one is what we call the decimal numbers now the number five is less than one number nine is less than one since they are to the right of the decimal point the number five here is called tenths. Tenths mean one tenth, one over ten. The number nine is called hundreds. The number one is called thousands. So that is why you see the number five is one over ten. Number nine is one over hundred. Number one. So the numbers here, because they are less than one, there cannot be units when placing when putting the place value so this is unit or ones this is tens so the all the numbers to the right of decimal point they are what we call decimal numbers now example of decimal numbers are 0 0.6 0 0.6 here means 6 all over uh, this is a uh, the tenth, the six is ten. Eight point six. The eight is the whole part. The number to the left, we said, is the whole number. So the eight is the whole part. Decimal point. The six also is the tenth. So the number two point eight three three four. The two is the whole part. Eight is the tenth. Three is the hundredth. 9 is the 9 is the thousands 4 is the 10000 so the same way we have this example 1.69 and finally 7645.789 so those number to the right are what we refer to as decimal number so the decimal point we are see here is the most important part of a decimal number so it tells us it tells us the position of each of the number so without it we are lost we won't know what each uh, position means so the position is the place value we say uh, like we discuss in the whole number this is a unit tens this is tenths with THS, hundreds and thousands. Now, uh, if you look at this, the number again, you can see on the left hand side is the decimal of the decimal point is a whole number 17. So, number to the left, we call them whole number. So, as we move left, every place get 10 times bigger. So, as you move left, the numbers get 10 times bigger. So if we have 2 here now, it will be 217. If you have 2, it will be 217. So this is the decimal point. Oh, to, the, to the right of um, the decimal point, uh, our decimal number. So the first digit is means tenths. You can see with THS. So that is one ten. As we move further right, every Please get 10 times smaller. So that is why we divide it over 10. Now, the next uh, thing we look at is reading and writing.
decimal numbers. To read or write decimal numbers, you read or write decimal numbers as if it were whole numbers. Then you name the place value of the last, last, last digits on the right. For example, if we have the number 0 0.59, now the number we can see is uh, 5, 59. So, uh, but if you look at the place value, 5 here is tenths. This is hundredths. So this would be 59 hundredths. So 59 hundredths. That is how we read it. So if you look at this 0 0.023, the number we can see as a whole here will be 23. So this will be 20. Uh, the place value after the point, the first zero is tenths. This is hundredths. This is thousands. So this number will read 23 thousands. So 23 thousands. That is how we got that. So uh, the basic rule is that when you have whole number and decimal number together, so if we are reading the point, the decimal point is red and. So in reading and writing makes decimal like 12.37. Uh, the decimal point should be red and. For example, this number would be 12 and 37 hundredths. So that is the way we read it, 12 and 37 hundredths. So we can see another example is this. Uh, what is 2.3 on the left side is the whole number, 2, then the point is and, so the 3 is the tenths. So this means 3 tenths. So uh, this, so, so 2.3 is 2 and 3 tenths. So this is how we read uh, decimal numbers. So more example, if we want to read and write the following in word form, this the number we can see, like I said earlier, is 391. So if you check the place value, the place the last number is one. Let's see. This is tenths, this is hundreds, this is thousands, this is uh, this is uh, uh, ten thousand. So the number will be read 391. 10,000. So, so we write it as 391, 391, 10,000. So the place value of the last number one is 10,000. So let's look at this. This is 145. So point is n. The place value tens, uh, hundreds, thousand. So this will be 145 and 654,000. So it's written as 145 and 654,000. So if you are reading currency, if we are reading currency, you, you should remember the name of the currency. For instance, this is in Nigeria, this is Naira. So this is 5,600 Naira, then the decimal part of Nigeria is referred as Kubo. So this will be 5,600 Naira and 53 Kubo. So 5,600 Naira and 53 Kubo. So let's take more example. Uh, this time we have number of words and we want to see how we can write them as a, a, a how we can write this number as a, a, a write them now uh, let's look at this number this is 16000 and 16000 will be 1 6 with 3 0 and is decimal point 4100 hundreds is after decimal point we have two digits so that is why and the number is 41 that is why we got 16,000 and which is decimal point uh, 41. We write 41 hundredths. So if it's 41 thousands now, that means we have three digits after decimal point. So you have to put 0 for 1. So let's look at another example. This is 55 and 35 10,000. 10,000 after decimal point 
that means four zero form four figures will come so 55 this should not be a problem and is decimal point then we we'll need four digits after the decimal point and that four digits the last digits will be 35 so uh, the other one since it's 35 we have to put 00, zero. that is how we come with this 0035 so the last one is 756 millions 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 will have six zero so it will have six figure after point so the the six figure we have 756 so that is three figure seven five six that is three figure seven five six so what we do what we do uh, the seven five six will be we have seven five six that is the number seven five six and we need till uh, six figures so the six figures start from decimal point so when you come from here seven five six is the last number you put three zero one two three then point point then the last zero so this is how we arrive at this number we are seeing here the number we are seeing here so that is how we arrive at the number we are seeing here so let's go further now the next thing we look at is rounding of decimal numbers how do we round decimal number so the in rounding decimal numbers um, it is the same rule we use with uh, with uh, whole numbers so then you know decimal numbers is important like i give example of a uh, currency the other time and you know uh, the the in business you can come across figures that have plenty of uh, decimal uh, of decimal uh, uh, plenty of figure after decimal point so for money we normally round it to the nearest uh, uh, two uh, decimal places you understand like in in nigeria now we round it to kobo that is two decimal place after the the decimal point so we do not uh, uh, and for other other uh, dealing we do not normally go beyond thousands that is thousands is after the point three figure after it so the two types of rounding we consider even from our whole numbers of the front end rounding and round all the way these are the two types we we'll consider here so to round uh, numbers the steps are the first thing you identify the place value of the digits you want to round for front end rounding you'll be told where to round for round all the way we normally round at the beginning the first number to the to the left that is where we round so then you check to the front of the to the right of the identified digits if it's greater or equals to five you add one to the identified digit if it is less you don't change it then the final steps with the uh, decimal numbers is that you drop all the other you drop all the other uh, the digits that are that are, are there so now the the example these are the example we want to round this number to the nearest tenth now first of all let's identify where tenth is after the decimal point this is uh, this is tenth we said it is less than a unit or once so this is tenth so you can see the identification here now let's look to the right immediately after this number we have uh, eight so if you 8 is greater or is greater than 5 so we add 1 to this 6 so if you add 1 to the 6 it becomes 7 so the 3 figure that are remaining we we'll forget about it so the answer is 98.7 so this is the 98.7 here now that is the explanation I've given here you can see the first digit identifies 8 uh, to the right is 8 then is greater than 5 increase 6 by 1 
Now let's look at another example. Let's round this number to the nearest hundred thousands. So let's identify the place value. This is tenths, this is hundreds, this is thousands, this is uh, ten thousands, this is hundred thousand. So this first three is our hundred thousand. That is why it's on the line here. Immediately after the three, we have three. This is now up to five, so we leave it like that. So we write the numbers from the beginning and stop here. So, and stop here, then we we'll let go of the 3 and 9. So, that is how we, are, we got 0 0.0453, 0 0.0453. Now, let's do two more examples and see how uh, uh, the, the exchanges as we run from tens down to thousand. Now, let's round this to the nearest thousands, hundreds, and uh, tens. So, to the nearest thousands, after the decimal point, we have a, a tenths, hundreds, thousand. Thousand is this sub nine. So the number after the nine is two. It's not up to five. So we leave the nine like that. So it becomes 35.749. That is how we got this. To the nearest hundreds. So hundreds is seven and uh, tenths. 100. 100 is at 4. So immediately after the 4, we have 9. It means we are going to add 1 to the 4, making it 5. That is how we got 35.75. The remaining figure 9 and 2, you let it go. Then to the nearest tenths. So after the decimal point, the tenths is 7. So the 7, after 7, after the 7, we have 4, which is now up to 5. So it's 35.7. That is how we got this. So the next thing we we'll consider is addition and subtraction of decimal number. In adding and subtracting decimal numbers, um, in adding and subtracting decimal numbers, we do it the same way as we do whole numbers. So first of all, you line up the figure as he, uh, based on their place value: hundred under hundred, tens under tens, tens under ten, thousands under thousand. Now, if the numbers do are not aligning. You add zero. You add zero either uh, before the numbers or after the numbers to make them align. So the zero do not add any value to the number. So the steps have stated them out here clearly. We have first we line up them vertically. You add zero to the right uh, that do not have enough places. Add or subtract working from the right. Then align the decimal. In the answer with the above decimal so we can see uh, the first one is we want to add these four numbers we want to add these four numbers so you can see 9.83 9.83 you understand 6.4 we can see 6.4 the decimal point are on the same side then we have 17.592 17.592 the decimal point are aligned together Unit under unit, tens under tens, tens under tens, hundreds under hundreds. So we have 3.087. That is it. Now we added this zero because this is in thousands. This is in thousands so that they will align. We added two zero here so that they will align. So it will make the addition easier. So some people might make mistake and go and add this three and go and add this three to two. So, and add this 3 to 2. So, what we do now, we add the same way we, add, we do addition of whole numbers. So, we start 0 plus 0 plus 2 plus 7 is 9. 3 plus 0 plus 9, uh, 3 plus 0 plus 9, we have 12. 12 plus 8, 20. So, put 0 down, carry 2. This 8 plus 2, 10. 14. 19 we have 9 then we carry 1 this makes this 10 10 plus 16 16 plus 7 uh, 16 plus 7 is 23 plus 3 26 we bring 6 down carry 2 that 2 plus 1 is 3 so the decimal point is here we trace it and we bring it down so this is the answer this is the answer to our uh, uh, this thing. This is the answer. So the next thing 
is a subtraction. We want to subtract this number from this number. This is 67 Naira and 54 Kobo. We want to subtract it from 5,400 Naira. So you align them. You can see after the 5,400, we we'll put decimal point and put two zero zero. Those zeros are not significant, but we we'll put it because the we have a 54 Kobo here related to our line. So we align it. So zero minus four, it cannot go. You go and borrow. We can borrow from here. If you bring it here, ten. Take one from here. This is a ten. This become ten. This is 10. 10 minus this, 6. This become 9. 9 minus this, 4. 9 minus this, 2. 9 minus this, 3. This is 3 because we have borrowed 1. This become 3. Then you bring 5 down. It trace the decimal point and put. So we have 5,332 Naira and 46. Then if you want to add this plus this, you align them based on their place value, the way we have done here. So 9 plus 6, 15. 9 plus 6, 15. Then you put 5 down. You put 5 down. You carry 1. Then 8 plus 7, 15 plus 1. You have 6. Uh, 16. You take 1. This give us 8. 8 plus 2, 10. 0. You carry 1. You add it to this 3. You have 40 Naira and 65 Kobo. So that is how we add those one. Now, multiplying and dividing decimal number. So to multiply and divide, to multiply decimal number, it is similar to multiplication of whole number. So all you do, you take the numbers you can see, you multiply them, then you now put the, the decimal numbers. The steps are, first you multiply number, like whole number, ignoring the decimal point, then the total number of decimal places in the multiplier and multiplicand total them the decimal point after the point how many you add them together then starting at the right in your product count to the left the number of decimal places total in step two and place the point if the total number of places is greater than the places in the product insert zeros in front of the product to provide the correct number of digits so let's take an example and see so we have two example here 8.52 times 6.7 so this is the solution here so we can see we have 8.52 and 6.7 8.52 has two decimal places after the point we have two number that is why it's two decimal places 6.7 after the decimal point we have two two uh, one decimal place that is it here. Yeah. So this is 852 times 67. So we multiply. 7 times 2, 14. 4 carry 1. 7 times 5, 35. Plus 1, 36. 6 carry 3. 7 times 8. 7 times 8. We have um, 7 times 8. This will give us 56. We carry 3, we add to it, it becomes 59. So 6 times 2, 12, carry 1. 6 times 5, 30, plus 1, 31. 31. 6 times 8, 6 times 8, we have 48, plus 3 is 51. It's 51, that is how we got this. You add them, you bring the 4 down. 6 plus 2, 8, 9 plus 1, 10, carry 1, 6, 7, then 5. So now from our decimal places, we have two decimal places here. We have one decimal place, 2 plus 1, where the answer must carry three decimal places. So we count from the right. So 1, 2, 3. Then we put our decimal point. So the answer is 57.084. So the second one is 6.3 times 0 0.0014. So if we multiply, you just multiply 63 times 14. So 6.3, one decimal place, 0 0.114 has a two decimal place. So ordinarily, you can just do the multiplication 
like this 63 times 14 so 63 times 14 so you multiply like this drop the zero but remember that after you have four decimal places at that point we have one two three four so you should remember that that you have four decimal places so when we multiply this the three times 14 we have 882 we have 882 so we have an um, 882 Eight, eight, two. That is the answer. So the decimal place here is one. Here is four. One plus four is five. So we count from here one, two, three. So four, there is no number, put zero. Five, put another zero, then put the decimal point, then zero so that is how we wrap we arrive at this so this is how we add uh, uh, we multiply decimal numbers then we have a shortcut for multiplication in most cases uh, when you have numbers multiplying by multiple of 10 multiple of 10 all you do is to move the decimal point all you do is move the decimal point if you have 231.57 times 10 how many zero do we have here one so you move the decimal point to the right once so this will be 2315.7 that is how we got here here so if you have times 100 we have two zero you move these two places one two so there is no decimal point again this becomes 23157 in three places, uh, one times one thousand, we have three zero. So you move it three places: one, two, three. The third one, there is no number, so you add zero. So that is how we arrive at two hundred thirty-one thousand five hundred seventy. Then dividing whole numbers, decimal numbers. So if you are dividing decimal numbers, you should be aware of the decimal point. The basic rule is that the divisor must be whole number so the basic rule you move the decimal point until you make the divisor whole number so let's look at two cases where we are dividing decimal number with whole number with whole numbers in that case you don't need to change anything then uh, we we'll look at when dividing decimal number with decimal number so if you are dividing, dividing decimal number with whole number you place the decimal point directly above the decimal decimal point in the equation directly above the decimal point in the dividend then divide the number so if we have this this decimal point here is supposed to be directly i think it shifted so this 8.50 divided by 50 our divisor is already is already our divisor the divisor is what we are dividing by the uh, the divisor is what we are dividing by it's already a whole number so when we are dividing now we come here uh, forget the uh, 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 look at it like a whole number let's see uh, 85 divided by uh, 8 divided by 50 it cannot go so you put zero you understand and put the point then you cross the decimal point so making this 85 85 divided by 50 it will go one time so that is the one here that is the one here that is the one here so one times 50 will give us 50 so this 50 is supposed to be directly under this 85 so if we if we subtract this is how it's supposed to be this is how it's supposed to be 8.5 divided by 50. 
So the point is supposed to be directly uh, 8 divided by 50. Divide by 50, it cannot go. So you put 0, put the point on top, then you cross 85 divided by 50. 85 divided by 50 to go one time. That is a 1. 1 times 50 is 50. So forget the point. Now you can continue your division directly. So 85 minus 50 will give us 35. That is the 35 here. So 35 divided by 50, it cannot go. So you add 0 to it. So 350 divided by 50, it will go 7 times. 7 times 50 is 350. So it's 350. That is the 350. When you subtract, again, so don't forget the subtraction here, you have 0. That is how we arrive at this 0 0.17. So let's look at dividing uh, uh, decimal by decimal. If you want to divide decimal by decimal, you move the decimal point to the right of the divisor until you make it whole. You do the same to the multiplicer. So if this want to divide this by this, this divisor will move the decimal point by 1. Then you must move this one by 1 also. So then move the decimal point in the dividend the same places as you move. It may be necessary to add 0 to the right. Sometimes it may be necessary you add 0 if there are not enough places. Place the decimal point in the quotient directly above the decimal point in the dividend. Then you do your division. So I have three examples here. This divided by this. 358.75 divided by this. Look at it here. So first you make this whole. We move this in one places. We move it in one places. It become 175. That is the 175 here. So we move this in one place. This become 3587.5. That is how we got this. So if we divide this by 175, we got 20. We got 2. 2 times this. We got 350. If we subtract, we have 8. So we bring this 7 down. 0.5. Bring them down. 87 divided by this. It cannot go. So since we are crossing and there is nothing on top of this, you put 0. So you put 0, then you cross. So 875 divided by 175, it will go 5 times. This times this, you get 75. That's how we got this. So the second one, this will move 2 times. If we move 2 times, then this will move 2 times also. This becomes 1760 divided by 25. So that is whole, the way we divide whole number, then you divide 176 divided by this, it will go 20, 70 times, 70 times you get this, so when we subtract, we have this, this divided by this, we have 4, since we are already uh, crossing, so that is um, how we got this, then the last one, you move in three places, this also becomes whole number, and we have done how to divide whole number before. So then we have shortcut for division. The shortcut when you are dividing by 10. Whenever you divide a decimal by a power of 10, like 10, 10,000, 1,000, you count the number of zero in the divisor and move the decimal point in the dividend the same places to the left. It may be necessary to add zero to two provide the required decimal places. So give example, if you are dividing this by 10, you move this point to the left once, because we have zero here. So that is how we got this. If you are dividing this by 100, you move this point two places here, here to become 23.4345. 1000, you move it, one, two, three, to become 2.342, Three four, three four, three four five. So this is the shortcut for division. Uh, thank you for listening. If you enjoy this lecture, kindly uh, go to our YouTube channel, uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and whenever we drop uh, our next class, you get 
the the notice immediately so thank you thank you very much this is the end of uh, our lecture